the two friends continued further through the forest, getting closer towards the end of their journey. What was it like to fight the God of Chaos? asked Odmar. Oh, we do not speak of him, replied Vaska. He's vain. He loves the stories people tell of him. The words call to him. Otmar turned to his friend and said, I'm not afraid of Loki. Thunderstruck. And the fairy appeared. Fairy! said Otmar. The elder told me I needed to ascend a mountain to retrieve a key. A, a, a key that opens a gate between worlds. The fairy paused, her expression twisting. Something was wrong. The Elder lied to you, said the fairy. The only way out of this world is death. This is not the fairy, Vaska shouted. Anwar stood fast. He would not act. It's time for you to join your fellow warriors, the fairy roared in a dark voice. The fairy's eyes turned green, and a bolt of lightning extended towards Anwar. But Vaska leapt in front of his friend shielding Odmar from the magic. And once again, Odmar had lost his oldest friend. Vaska, always the hero, wasn't he? The fairy said nefariously. I will not give you the honor of joining your friends. I will curse you, just as I cursed Vaska. Odmar was enraged, but did not know what to do. I too am cursed, Odmar. The fairy continued. My curse is not to sit alongside my fellow gods. They do not accept me. But I aspire to even greater heights. Your people will help me. They will break through the gates of Valhalla for me, so that I may take my rightful place. I am the greatest god, for I am the god of chaos. I am Loki. And in a flash, Loki was gone.
Come <laughs> on. 